A basic principle of human behavior teaches us that behavior is largely a product of its immediate environment. And no one has a greater responsibility for the creation of a healthy home environment than do parents. The change must begin with them. Several years ago, a young couple came to see me about two foster children they were raising in their home. They had two children of their own and they decided to share their good fortune with others. The two foster children brought challenges into the home for which the parents were not prepared. The couple came to me wondering what they could do to, quote, fix these kids' behavior, an appeal with which I had become very familiar over the years. After discussing their greatest concerns, we set about putting together a management plan. A few days later, the father called. He was annoyed and said, This plan is almost completely about our behavior, meaning his and his wife's. It's the kids' behaviors that need to be fixed, not ours. I asked him to stick with the plan, and we discussed his concerns later. He agreed. A few weeks after, I received this wonderful letter. It went like this. Dear Dr. Latham, when my wife and I came to see you, it was because we had two new kids in our house who were serious behavior problems, and we didn't have any idea what to do. They were like nothing we had ever experienced. You gave us a management plan which made me angry. It was a plan which addressed our behaviors more than the kids. We didn't come to see you about our behavior. Our behavior was fine. But after a while, something happened. Something clicked, and we found ourselves looking at behavior altogether differently. We were on a higher plane of thinking. We realize now that before you can expect the behavior of others to change, you must change your own behavior first. We can see now what Christ meant when he said, First, cast the beam out of thine own eye. There is an old standard in our profession that reminds us that if we fix the environment, we fix the behavior. Since parents are the ones who are in charge of the environment, they must first look at their own behavior. In that regard, I have the following suggestions. First, over three or four days, just take note of how you behave toward others in your home. The number of smiles versus frowns, compliments versus criticism, talking with versus talking at, hugs versus hits. You know what I mean. Behavior that is measured is behavior that is improved. Take a little data. Next, Make a list of all of the desirable and good things your children and spouse do, the things you want done again. When you see these behaviors around the house, acknowledge them. You don't need to acknowledge every one of them, just every once in a while. Nor do you need to make a big deal of it. With only a few words, said in only a few seconds, you can make a marvelous difference, a lasting difference. Next, make another list of the annoying things your children and spouse do that are only that annoying. They don't hurt anyone and they don't damage anything. You've heard me say this before. Nor are they a threat of any kind. Just ignore these behaviors. They aren't worth the attention they get. Deprived of attention, they just go away. You'll be amazed. The key is to keep a keen eye on your behavior as a parent. Manage your behavior well, and you are well on the way to well-behaving children. It is predictable. Your behavior is the key. A recent survey of teen violence reported that whereas 20% of those surveyed said that their violent behavior stemmed from violence they saw on television, 43% of the respondents said their violent behavior stemmed from violent parenting. 
This was so reflective of a phone call I got from the concerned mother of a fifth-grade boy. The boy had been sent home from school with a poor conduct report. He had been hitting kids on the playground. The mother said, I told him he wasn't supposed to go around hitting people. What he said just devastated me. He said, Mom, why is it okay for Dad to hit me at home, but it's not okay for me to hit kids at school? Well, folks, neither one is okay. They are both barbaric. Cut it out. Grow up. This isn't the middle of the Paleolithic period of two million years ago. We aren't Neanderthals. It's time we all behaved like civilized human beings. Hitting other people for any reason is not a civilized behavior.